Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q2 of the bi weekly contest 67. Uh, ooh, whoops, spoiler alert. Uh, find good days to rob the bank. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, especially if you like contest farms. We've been just going over and sharing code for every contest and problems and so forth. Um, so yeah, so this one took about five minutes, which is slower than a lot of the top people, as you can see. Um, and to be honest, I've just been very sloppy this uh, sluggish, say, this contest. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's anything tricky about this one in the sense that um, you just have to pre-calculate everything, or that's the way that I did it. Um, you could, yeah, uh, basically, you just um, pre-calculate everything from both directions, or you don't even have to do it from one of the directions, just going backwards. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to do. And I'll show you the code right now. Um, basically, uh, the way that... Um, it's almost like dynamic programming or prefix sum. Basically, you look at two adjacent uh, numbers, and if it's decreasing, we, we put it in the thing. Um, and then, uh, hmm, actually, this this is kind of awkward because I think my variable names are wrong. Um, well, now, I mean, after you uh, reverse it. So basically, for and then we now do it from the second half um, or the second direction, which is that we reverse it. We run the same algorithm and then we reverse it again, the answer. So then now you have two things that are aligned. So basically what you want here is two arrays. One that tells you uh, how many times, how what is the furthest, um, the longest streak ending in this number going decreasing and then the longest streak starting from this number increasing. And of course that is just what I have here. And then after that, you just have to you know, check these conditions that they tell you, which is that there's enough room and that it is, uh, there's increasing in one direction and decreasing in the other direction um, or something like that. Hmm. Maybe I think the, the thing is a little bit awkward. Um, but yeah, I just had weird typos and misunderstandings for this problem, which you can watch me solve live next. Um, so definitely do that. Uh, but yeah, this is gonna be linear time, linear space um, because that's the size of the input. And I don't know if you could, mm, I wonder if you could do it in non-linear space. But linear time is definitely optimal because that's the lower bound. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, you can watch me solve it next and during the contest. And I'll see you in a bit. It's about the problem and I'm, I'm like really behind. Okay, focus. Whew. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm really
this could be equal to misaligned Two. I messed this up I think I messed this up I think what I want is the opposite This problem is really annoying. The two problems. Let's see, is this right? One, two, three, okay, that looks right. Okay. Hey, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord, especially if you like these contest problems. There are a lot of smart people there, campaign solutions. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, I'll see you later. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'm Tino X Problem. Bye-bye.